Terrahawks. Stay on this channel. This is an emergency. When is a house not a house? When it's the White House. 1,000 feet below the surface, the Battlehawk. Flagship of the Terrorhawks, an elite fighting force ready to engage the invaders from Mars. What do you think, Dr. Neinstein? Well, hero, they're definitely mechanical metamorphs, certainly offensive, and as far as I can see, they're preparing to attack. It looks like our first 10.30. Exactly. Have a good fright. Treehawk, you have the 10.50. Hawk Nest, 10.10. 10. One, this is Lieutenant Hero. I'm docking with Space Hawk now. See you on the flight deck. Tan Tan. Hello, 101. Hi, Erica. My, how you've grown. Nice to see you, Lantana. Why, Cassandra, you look beautiful. You've obviously been talking to them, just like I told you. Yes, sir. You know something, 101? Dr. Einstein's theory is that my plants flourish because of the artificial gravity up here. And when I explain to him it's because I talk to them, do you know what he says? You're a nut. Exactly. I'm on my way, Earthlings. Seven hundred and forty-eight. Seven hundred and forty-nine. I'm gonna do it. Doctor, I have a contact. Oh, I 
don't believe it. I just don't believe it. But it's true, Doctor. It's an energy force. Trajectory, Mars to Earth, right? Exactly. And it's approaching fast. Hero, we have all your onboard computer data. Do you have a visual sighting yet? Anything? I'll check again, sir. This is Space Sergeant 101 calling Zeroids 1 to 100. We have a contact. Keep your eyes peeled. They must have a visual sighting by now. According to sensors, yes. But a hundred Zeroids report, no. And a hundred Zeroids can't be wrong. Neither can our sensors. Hero, lock onto that energy source and blast it. But we don't even have a radar echo. I'm aware of that. Now open fire. Zeroids covering Mars sector. Open fire. The energy source, Captain. It's still there, and it's heading for Earth. Hawkeye, you on the wing? I sure am, ma'am. You have a 1050. 1010. Energy source approaching ionosphere at max six. It's a controlled descent. Still no radar echo. Use the radio telescope, Mary. Right. All right, Katie. Here come the coordinates, fresh from the rose garden. Thanks, I'm on the sand. Hawkeye? Over to you. Tan Tan. Left, left, three degrees. Hold her steady. Still no visual contact. Keep firing. Tan Tan. Anything? I fired at nothing, and guess what I hit? Okay, Katie, stay in that area. I may need you. Tan Tan. Energy source now entered Earth's atmosphere. What's the projected landing site? 100 miles due north of Bangkok, sir. Might I suggest? No, you might not. Reason is not in your sphere. Bangkok? Bangkok it is. Mary, it's all yours. Sergeant Major, I want a hundred of your men to be boarded immediately. Yes, Captain. You don't really think of us as men, do you? Oh, for space sake, Zero, not now. Attention! Right, man. That's the avenue. This is it. All equipment and, uh, <clears throat> men aboard, Captain. Thank you, Sergeant Major. Stand by for liftoff. Ready for liftoff.
Haiti, bring the Hawkwing to the battle zone. We'll need air cover. We're on our way. Hero, move into geostationary orbit. I want you to keep your eye on the battle zone. 10 10. Looks like this is it, sir. Exactly. You mean exactly. Exactly. It's our first encounter with the new Martians, Tiger. What do you expect? I expect... I expect the unexpected. Sergeant Major, Aluxin, everything's clear here, but we'll roll around and check the whole area out. One of my men has just reported... Yeah, I got it. How are we doing? We are doing just fine. If the men we drop to give us a clear, then we'll be landing about 10 miles from the energy source. Sergeant Major, landing 1020 clear. My reconnaissance party, sir, report that the area is safe for landing. Okay, Mary, take her down. Zero, take your squad to the side of the energy source and report. Sir. And use reasonable caution. Expect the unexpected. Yes, sir. Numbers 13, 27, and 35. Stand by for reconnaissance patrol. Copy. My lucky numbers. Well, I, I better get rolling. Good luck, Sergeant Major. Thank you, Mom. If my theory about the energy source is correct, I wouldn't send my worst enemy out there. All right, man. Follow me. All right, Doctor. I'm moving us to Hill 28. That's the best vantage point. I can hear the energy source. This way, man. It's over here. A powerful source of energy, and yet our radar sees nothing. Zero, how we doing? We've located the energy source, sir. And what do you see? The energy source is under the bow of a tree. I can sense it's there, but I can't see it. Zero, fire an energy bolt at the source. So. Doctor, the energy source is still there, but it's moved to one side. Can you pinpoint it? No, sir. Then use macrovision. Sir. What can you see, Sergeant Major? I see... I see a spaceship. Under a gigantic spider. It's an alien spaceship. And it is under a gigantic spider. Just what I expected. It's an alien spaceship, all right, but the spider's not gigantic. The spaceship's minute. 
Hence, no radar echo. That's right. But we're getting one now. Major, no! Return to Battle Hawk! He can't hear us. He doesn't want to hear us. Right, you lot. Who knows what they say? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Now take up defensive positions. You mean me? I believe. Is an unlucky number for some people here on Earth. There! I was right. Men, open fire. You're wasting your time, Earth Things. You can't hit me. But I can hit you. Hawkwing. Copy. That ship's got a force field around it. We need your help. Hawkwing on 1040. Get the Zeroids out of there. There's going to be a big bang. Hawkeye. Missile mode. Lock on target. 1010. Sergeant Major, withdraw your men and return to the Battle Hawk. That's an order. If Hawkwing is coming in, we must distract their fire. Come on, men. Give them everything you've got. Here we go, Hawkeye. Ten ten. Don't leave it too late, Katie. It's never too late, Tiger. Fantastic, Katie. Just fantastic. The energy force, it's still there. But Katie blew the alien ship apart. If they can alter their size, they have control over matter. And the energy force is still there. And it's building. Fast. Keep calm, baby. Very stupid, Doctor. You should know better than to attack us. But we did not attack. Silence! How dare you speak to me like that? You, a mere human being. Human? But aren't you... No, I am not. My people were once the slaves of humans on our planet. We were their robots. But soon our intellect was greater than that of our creators. So we destroyed them. Your android? Yes. 
We are androids in the mold of our creators. Based on the oldest and wisest. That is why we are so beautiful. Terrahawk, are you receiving me? Mary, are you all right? This is Sergeant Major Zero calling for a copy. Doctor, what's your 1020? The whole thing's totally beyond my comprehension. On our flight to Mars, we have of necessity to pass your gunship. Spacehawk? It'll blast us out of the sky. And my theory is that you've insufficient power left to reduce your ship's size and to maintain its force field. Correct. But they won't fire with you aboard. They don't know I'm aboard. They will. Because you are going to tell them. Just speak and they will hear. Hero, can you hear me? I hear you, Doctor. Where are you? I'm aboard the Martian ship. It has insufficient power to maintain its force field. If you open fire, you'll destroy it. So, open fire. That's an order, hero. <laughs> he won't fire. Not with you on board. You're coming with me to Mars, and then we'll take you apart to see what makes you tick. You've slipped up, Android. I'm only one of nine clones. Kill me, and there'll be another Einstein within 24 hours. What would you do, 101? It's not for us to make decisions. But you can if you want. The doctor would not like us to start making decisions. You're right, of course. I must make the decision. 101? 101. Open fire! What have I done? They have opened fire. Yes, Zelda. This has got to be the end. <laughs>